Hi, I'm Steve Halverson, the Collections Manager here at Time Modern, and I want to just talk to you for a minute about the bamboo that, that most of our baskets are made from. Um, there are over 300 species of bamboo that I've, I'm told uh, that grow in Japan, but of that number, there are only about a half dozen that are used in bamboo art. And the most common one by far is called Madake. It's Japanese timber bamboo. It's very large, grows to about 60 feet in length in a few years. And this bamboo can be cut into very, very fine strips. And that's why it's the most common bamboo we use. It's ultimately the most flexible. This piece here by Tanioka Aiko, Springtime Flower Basket, is made of that material. You can see it's you can cut this into very fine, almost translucent, soft strips that are easy to plate together but are very strong at the same time. There are a few species of bamboo that are much smaller in diameter, and I have one sample here, and that's called Nemagari. This is a bamboo that grows in northern Japan, and it's not really so easy to cut, but it has a great surface texture, so it's used in a very different way, and I have an example of that right here. This is Fujinuma's Spring Kai from 2017. Very forceful piece. And it's made of these strips of nemagari that are basically the skin. Just the skin is cut, the pith is, is uh, discarded. And it has this wonderful um, sensuous texture. There's another uh, small bamboo that's used often, and that's bamboo that um, is called yadake, or arrow bamboo. And this piece here, Perception by Tanioka Aika, was made of yadake. This bamboo is narrow, strong, and grows in great lengths at the same diameter, so it's good for arrows. So, of course, the traditional Japanese samurai arrows are made of this bamboo. And this is whole pieces of bamboo that have been constructed, basically tied together, not cut, just cut at the ends. So that's the basic primer, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.